what's going on in terms of women's rights and women's pushback against um, sexual abuse, harassment, and quid pro quo in your business. Um, how has that affected both of you? And do you also believe that it is you guys who have to help us women? I think absolutely. And the importance of doing this interview with you as opposed to another journalist is not lost upon me. Um, I, I went to the Golden Globes with my sister, and it was really great, like, as it relates to the second part of your question, as far as what's the, what's the guy's role in this? Beyond the importance of the movement independently, how does the guy fit in? And she, it was like an education, talking to her. And where she, she said, you, you know, you're part of this new wave. You're a new generation. You're a millennial. You're the new generation. You have to be talking about this. Uh, and I guess I always thought, I, I always think I'm unknown anyway, <laughs> but I guess I always thought, as a consequence of my age or lack of clout or something, that it's not one's responsibility. But I guess that's where the problem lies. You know, it's, it's everyone's responsibility. And, and you, you're a slightly older generation. Mm. You've probably seen this overt misogyny in Hollywood. Sure. What do you think? I mean, you know, there's this feminist writer, Lindy West, who just said, you know, it is men who created sexism and misogyny, and they have to help us fix it. You know, it'll be useful if one day Robert Downey Jr. wakes up and demands equal pay for his co-star, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What do you think sure. of that aspect of it? I think that there is, uh, I don't disagree, I think that there is a system in place that has a very wonky set of rules, and it, it seems kind of one-sided, but like any system, it's not one element at fault. It's normally like a confluence of things. Um, I think that, m m you know, part and parcel with, sexism there's almost like a powerism that's in play as well you know where it's just been ubiquitously accepted for too long that those with power are allowed to abuse it um, and because of sort of you know the male dominated nature of, of a lot of systems in the world it's it's the men who have the power who are able to abuse it I do think that there is a big role to play you know um, I think that there is you know Kurt, Kurt Vonnegut said it well when he said artists are kind of like the canaries in the coal mine because we're, we're sensitive, you know, we're, we're really attuned to what's going on and it'll kill us first because we are so sensitive. And the fact that this movement has sort of found its genesis in the entertainment industry shows you that, you know, th this is something that is now starting to kill canaries and it should be something that expands past that. So there is, there is a role to play, there is something to do. And, you know, you wanna be allied with the side that of doing something as opposed to being a part of the problem. Do you have any qualms, Timothy, about working with Woody Allen? I mean, your next film has him as the director, and as you know, he's been accused by his daughter of sexual abuse. He's never been charged, he hasn't been arrested, none of that. But I wonder whether you think about it and whether you ask, how has he escaped the Me Too revolution? It's going to be really important for me to talk about that and to really there's, I hesitate to talk about it right now because what I say will only, it's only going to anger 